In this video, we will learn how to create data recovery apps. You can make unlimited passive income by creating these data recovery apps. You do not need to know any programming to create this app. We will use Google AdSense ads in these data recovery app. I will now discuss the features of data recovery app. You can also get many advanced features in this app. Users will be able to recover their deleted images. You can also recover video and audio. You can also recover all other deleted files. For this, you need to click on the Start Scanning button. Then our deleted files will be scanned. I did not delete any files on this phone, for which you can't see any deleted file. Also, we get the Settings menu. Here we can add the information of our apps. We will create this app and upload it to Google Play Store. Then we can make unlimited passive income through Google AdSense ads. I will show you step by step how to customize the source code of this app. I purchased source code from Code Canyon to create these data recovery app. Check out the video description. I will give you the discount link of this app source code. Once you purchase a source code, you can use it for a lifetime and you will get updated version for a lifetime. If you need to customize and develop any apps, you can take our help. For this, we have to contact by email. So now we will learn how to purchase source code. For this, you must open an Envato account. Here you have to give information in your account. I have already opened an account on Envato, so I will now log into the account. Then we need to click on the Add to Cart button. Now go to Checkout. We can purchase source code through two international payment gateways. For example, we can make payment through MasterCard or PayPal. For example, I will now pay via MasterCard. For this, we have to click on MasterCard. We have to pay a total of $22.88. For this, you have to give your card information here. Then you will click on the Pay Securely button. Your payment will be completed, then you can download the source code zip file. If you do not have a MasterCard, you can pay through PayPal. Payment via PayPal is very easy. For this, you need to click on the Pay Securely with PayPal button. Now you can pay by logging into your PayPal account. Then your payment will be complete. Then you can download the source code zip file and license key. Now you need to download Android Studio to edit the source code. You can download Android Studio by clicking on the download button. I have already downloaded Android Studio. Then you need to install Android Studio. I have already installed Android Studio. After purchasing the source code, you will be given a zip file. Now we need to extract this zip file. Now we will submit this source code to our Android Studio. Then click on the Open an Existing Project. Now we need to find the folder location of the source code. Then you have to click on the Android icon. Now click on OK. Then we'll wait a while. We can see some errors. Now we will solve this error. For this, we have to click on the file. Then go to Project Structure. Then we will select 4.1.1 version. Now I will click on the Apply. I'll wait a while. Wow, you see our problem is solved. So now let's turn on the virtual device. Our virtual device has been launched. So let's install the data recovery apps on our virtual device. We'll have to wait a while for it to install. Wow, our data recovery apps have been installed. First, we will change the name of our app. For this, you have to click on the app. Then we will click on the res. Now go to values. Then click on the strings.xml. Now enter your app name. I will give app name data recovery. Now we will run the app. You can see the name of our app has changed. Now we will change the logo of the app. 
For this, you will click on the app, then click on the your mouse right button. Go to new. Then click on the image assets. Now we will upload icons for our app. You need to find the folder of the app icon. Then select the image of your app icon. We can resize the icon. We can change the background. Everything is OK. Now we will click on the next. Then click on the finish. We will now run the app. Wow, you can see the icon of our app has changed. This way you can add custom icons to your app. Now we need to change the package name of the app. For this, we have to go Android Manifest.xml. We will definitely name the unique package. As you can see the default package name. We will now name the unique package. First, we will select the text. For this, we need to click on the keyboard shift plus F6 button. Click on the rename package. Enter your package name. Then we have to select all the places. Now click on the, the ref actor. Then again click on the do ref actor. We can change the package name of our apps by using this method. Now we need to copy the new package name. Then click on the Gradle scripts. Now go to build.gradle module. Then I will here paste our new package name. We can change the version of the app. Then you need to click on the sync now. We've successfully changed the package name of the app. Now we will run the app. Wow, our app have been installed properly. Now we will uninstall the old app. Now we will change this image of app. For this, we have to go to the drawable folder. Then we will copy the image of our choice. Now I will paste the image in the drawable folder. Now you have to delete the recycling image. Now we need to rename the uploaded image. Now you have to write recycling. Now we will run the apps. You can see the image of our apps has changed. Now we will change the color on the start scanning button. For this, we have to go to the activity underscore main dot XML file. Because here we get the home design of our app. I will give our favorite button color. Now we will run the app. You can see that our button color has changed. Now we will change the background color of this icon. Our icon's background color has been changed. Now we will run the app. Wow, you can see our app icon background color has changed. This way you can add the color of your choice. Now we will change the color in the app menu bar. For this, we have to go to the style.xml. Then we will change the color of our choice. Now I will run the app. You can see that the menu bar color of our app has changed. 
Now we will add advertising in our app. For this, you must open a Google AdMob account because we will use Google AdMob advertising for our app. I have already opened a Google AdMob account. I will now log into the account. Now we need to set up ads for our app. Platform we will select Android. Our app are not published in the App Store. You must publish the app in the App Store. Otherwise, Google AdMob ads will not show your app. Now enter your app name. Then click on the Add App. Yes done. Now go to App Settings. Then we need to copy the app ID. Then we go to Android Manifest.xml. Then I will paste our original app ID. Now we will create an ad units. First, we will create a banner ad. Enter your banner ad unit name. Then click on the create ad unit. Now we need to copy the banner ad unit. Then we have to go to the strings.xml. Now I will paste our banner ad unit. Now we will create an interstitial ad unit. Then we will create another ad unit. We've successfully added ads to our Android app. We must change the privacy policy URL of app. I'm adding a privacy policy URL for app from my website. Now we will upload our app in Google Play Store. For this, we will click on the build. Then click on the Generate Signed Bundle. We must select the Android App Bundle because we want to upload this app to Google Play Store. Then we will move on to the next section. Now we will make Key Store Path. We will create a folder. Then we have to enter the file name. Now we need to enter the secret password. Then enter your full name. Enter organizational unit. Enter your organization name. Then enter city name. Enter your state name. Then enter your country code. All OK. Key tool error, no problem, just remove plus. Now I will change the export path folder. Then go to next. Now we will change the location of the destination folder. Then we will select release. All OK, now click on the finish. Now we have to wait a while. It will depend on the speed of your computer. Our app has been released successfully. Now we need to upload this file to Google Play Store. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. If you have any questions about these app, be sure to comment or contact us via email. If you are a new visitor to our channel, you must subscribe to the channel.